Hello dear guys. So in this video, I will show you one of my data analysis project using Python. So I, I took the US adult census data of 1994. Now let's analyze the data. So first of all, I am importing numpies and pandas for data analysis. And then I am loading the data set from archive.ics.uci.edu. The, the labels were not given, so I had to make the labels from the Kaggle. So let's view the first 10 samples of our data. So as we can see, we have age, work class, final weight. So final weight is a feature in the US data census and their education number is 13, which means that higher the education number, higher is your education, which means that if the education number is 13 and it is then it is bachelor's and uh, if the group is only studied till high school grade the education number is 9 so you get the point and similarly we have marital status occupation relationship race sex and uh, capital gain loss hours per week how many hours per week they are working a native country so some of them are from the other countries as well most of them are from the United States and whether their salary is less than or equal to 50k per annum or greater than 50k per annum in US dollars. So now let's uh, get the size of our data. So the size of our data is around 32,561 samples which is pretty good and we have around 15 features. Now let's get the details of our data. So as we can see that the average age in our data set is around 38.58 and the education number is 10 which means it's good which means that most of the people are above high school grad and they are working around 40 hours per week so US working days are 5 so around 8 hours per week is the average. Let's get more info. So we have around 32,561 samples and the good thing is none of them are missing and they are integer values. The memory usage is around 3.7 MB. Now let's see the number of males and females in our data set. So we have around 21,790 males and 10,771 females. Let's calculate the average age of the females in USA so it is around 36.85 so around 37 now let's analyze the percentage of German and Indians in US census data 1994 so what I did is I have calculated all the people from all their native countries and what I found is maximum of them are from the United States and then from Mexico that is obvious because they share their boundaries and lot of Mexicans come to the United States and so on. So let's calculate the percentage of Germans in US census. So it is around 0.42. Similarly, if we calculate the percentage of Indians, it is around 0 0.30. So I'm talking about uh, 1994 census data. You can get the insights. If we analyze the relationship between their age and salary, we can find out that the average age for the people who are earning more than 50k per annum is 44 plus minus 11 years and the average age of people who are earning less than 50k is around 37 plus minus 14. So the people who are having little bit higher age are earning more than the people who are still somewhat younger. So let's uh, see if the people who are just high school grad past are earning more than 50k. So as we can see that there are people who are just 11th past or 7th and 8th past but still they are earning above 50k per annum. So that is good. Now let's see the maximum life of uh, American Indian Eskimo race in USA. 
so these this race lives in the northern part of united states so the maximum life of american indian eskimo race was 82 similarly we can get the analysis between the married and singles that who earns more so as we can see that the married people earn more than the singles definitely because they have their family and they have responsibilities so around 6736 people have the salary more than 50k per annum whereas around 1105 singles are having their salaries more than 50k per annum now let's analyze the relationship between the hard work and money so how much they work and how much they get we'll analyze that so among the people who are working 99 hours per week only 30 percent of them earn more than 50k so it's rightly said that it's not how much hours you put in it's what you put in those hours so this saying is proving true over here around 30 percent of the people who work 99 hours per week are earning more than 50k per annum now let's see that uh, how many japanese and how many indians work per week and uh, how many of them are earning according to their work so if we see that the people who are earning less than 50k and uh, are, have their native country as japan they are working around 41 hours and uh, the people who are having salary more than 50k they are working around 48 hours so i think it is their efficiency and the hours they are putting it and of course the age matters as well because as we saw in our previous analysis that the people who are older are earning more than the young people then we can see that the people of india who are working and getting the salary less than 50k what is their mean hours per week so it is around 38 hours less than japanese so but maximum is 84 and minimum is 8 hours per week similarly we can see that how many of them are working and getting the salary more than 50k and what is their average hours per week so we can see that average hours per week is 46.48 hours uh, which is uh, similar to the japanese as they were having 47 hours and we were having 46 hours and uh, the maximum working hour for the group is 72 and the minimum is around 20. So this was the short analysis of the US census data. The code is available on the GitHub and I have attached the code. Thank you.